and how's everyone doing? Uh, today I wanted to do a little bit of a uh, software showdown with uh, the oh, Kazam screencaster. I'm going to launch here, uh, place over there, and uh, record my desktop, or also known as a GTK, record my desktop. Just kind of go down with some features on this. Now, when first launching Kazam uh, Screencaster, um, you're pretty much presented with this, record video from, record audio from, and uh, screen is your only option, and computer is your only option. So if you have a USB headset, I would highly recommend going into your sound preferences and selecting USB as default, and then um, it'll record that just fine. <clears throat> now, Kazam records uh, in H.264, and MPEG-4 for the audio, and if you save it, because um, uh, towards towards the end, it gives you the option to uh, save um, as a file to use later, and you save it, it'll save as an MKV, um, which is a pain in the ass um, to transcode. If you try using any transcoder, uh, I found that um, the audio and video will not sync. Audio, the video is going to lag behind the audio. Um, you can also with Kazam, it gives you the option once you're done. I think I've got some screen screen captures of this. Let me launch those real quick. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Here's the here's the original ones I had done. I'm gonna kind of place those over there. Um, here we go. Screenshots. There we are. So I'm gonna take these all out here real fast, so you can all see them. There we are. Let me launch the first one. So here, here you can see that you record video from. It, here's the countdown. Um, once you finish recording, you can say I want to either save it for later use. That's the MKV file. Um, you can edit it in OpenShot Video Editor. It will, it would uh, uh, take it over there. Or the Kazam screen, uh, edit with Kazam Screencaster. You can do that. It's uh, basic editing functions. Or you can upload straight to YouTube, which is uh, probably what I'm going to be doing the most of, is uploading straight to YouTube. Um, and then, or you can upload to this uh, video bin, which I'm not going to be doing at all. So just want to show you that real quick. Now, advantage is um, it's not as buggy as the uh, Record My Desktop. Uh, Record My Desktop has a few bugs, and I will discuss them, ones that I've run into, excuse me. And uh, we'll talk about those. Now, Record My Desktop, when doing full full uh, desktop recording a lot of times I've noticed that uh, at least two to three out of five, uh, two out of five times it will fail to um, to encode it a hundred percent it'll go to 99 then the um, then record my desktop will just quit and the, the audio doesn't finish encoding and the video didn't finish encoding either and you just end up with uh, a bunch of wasted time and effort so to get around this, you have to always use the select window function. And you're probably thinking, well, how do I select window when I want to do the whole desktop? Now, how I found a way to get around it is I will launch um, a Firefox program, like so. Click on record my desktop. I will click select window. I will select the Firefox window. And then it selects that whole thing. And then I just close Firefox. And now I have a big chunk of my desktop ready to go. The only thing that would be missing would be uh, Docky and uh, the uh, taskbar down at the bottom. So I just record that, and everything seems to go fine. Um, so uh, in the advanced area here, like. You can go into, for example, sound, change the channels, the frequency, uh, performance, uh, full shots every frames for f uh, 3D stuff, uh, quick subsampling, um, require less processing power, uh, but the colors will look a little more blurry, zero compression, which is good. Uh, see temporary files, blah, 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 and code on the fly that requires a lot more processing power, uh, which you can do if you got a you know better process than what I have, and also like miscellaneous I've got it selected so it won't fall. You can have it selected so it follows a mouse, you know uh, when it, wherever you go if you if you do like you know clicking on how tos. I've got it so it it doesn't basically the mouse is um, mouse cursor is none. So if when recording to record my desktop, it won't actually show my mouse cursor. So I was like, yeah, that's awesome. So there's a lot more uh, things you can do with record my desktop than you can do um, with Kazam Screencaster. 
Um, big problem with Kazam that I, as you all know through my channel, I do a lot of uh, Call of Duty recording. Um, Kazam will record full screen Call of Duty gameplay just fine if I'm only recording the video. The audio, on the other hand, does not record. I even tried. I tried taking it through through the USB, just like. You know, just hey, for per chance on a dazzle, um, I set it up my normal way where I go through the microphone. Didn't work at all. So uh, I just want to let everyone kind of know that. But other than that, um, it's a it's a nice little program for doing uh, screencasting for like what I'm doing here. This application comparing to programs, and um, it's a it's a work in progress. Um, you know, like with like with most. <laughs> Um, open source programs, work in progress, but I think for um, for when it comes to doing my game capturing and, and recording of that nature, I will have to keep record my desktop and use Kazam for doing um, other like video blog activities. So unfortunately, I will have to have two programs. Um, that's just kind of how it works. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate and comment, and you guys have a good day.